In this tutorial we'll teach you how to create a design for a laser or vinyl cutter using Inkscape. Inkscape is a free and open source vector graphics editor. Unlike pixel-based image editors such as Adobe's Photoshop or Microsoft Paint, a vector graphics editor will generate images that actually are a mathematical representation of our shape instead of a bunch of pixels. Let's take a look at these two images in order to clarify the difference. The one on the left is a vector image, while the one on the right is a raster. At first glance, there isn't much of a difference between the two. But when we zoom in on both images, we can see the individual pixels on the raster image, while the vector will stay smooth. Another benefit is that we can easily change the color of a vector, but more importantly, we can show and edit the path. And these paths are exactly what we need if we want to vinyl or laser cut something, because the cutting machines will be able to follow these paths, and thus use them as cutting lines. A couple of common vector formats are SVG, AI, EPS and PDF. A couple of common file formats for raster files are JPEG, PNG, TIFF and GIF. Now, before we even start creating shapes, I'm going to show you how to move around in the software. The two most common operations for moving around are zooming and panning. There are a bunch of different commands we can use for both of these operations, but I'll just show you the easiest ones. If you are also interested in the more advanced controls, you can find the link containing this information in the description. We'll start off with zooming. The first option we have in order to zoom in and out is using the plus and minus keys on our keyboard. Pressing the plus key will zoom in, while pressing the minus key will zoom out. We can also zoom in and out by using the scroll wheel of our mouse, while holding the control key, or by manually entering the zoom percentage on the bottom right of the screen. Panning in your design is most easily done by clicking and dragging the mouse wheel button. This method allows you to scroll in each direction. If you just want to scroll vertically, you can use the mouse wheel to scroll up and down, and if you want to scroll horizontally, you can use the mouse wheel while holding the shift key, and it will scroll left to right. We can also set up the size of our page. The page you can see has an A4 paper size by default. If you want to change this, you have to go to the file, and then Document Properties. In this menu, you can select different paper sizes, or you can enter your own custom page dimensions. A good practice is to set the size of the page equal to the size of the material that you are using. This way, you will always know in advance if the design that you made will fit within the material that you are using. In this menu, you can also choose your display units. We'll leave this in millimeters for now, because that will give us the best idea of how big the stuff that we are drawing is going to end up when it's finally cut out. Now that you know how to get around in the software, we'll teach you how to generate shapes that you can use to laser and vinyl cut.